Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about proper Molotov usage. All right. Now I'm going to be a CT first and show you from the CT perspective on how to properly use Molotovs and how you can do it. Okay. So now there's pretty much two ways to do it as CT. You could either use it to control the pace of a round or you could do it in certain spots when they actually execute. So the very simplest way to use a Molotov I'm going to discuss is that banana first off. Okay. Very, very simple. Have one guy here with a Molotov out. As soon as they start flashing and executing, you simply Molotov it. They can't execute anymore. They just wasted however much of their inventory on trying to execute, and then you Molotov it. And if they go through that Molotov, they're all gonna take like 60 plus damage. So they're just not gonna do it. So bam, just because of that one Molotov, you just made them waste however many flashes and smokes they threw, all right? That's a very, very simple way of using it. Probably the most simple way, and probably, to be honest, the most effective way of using it as CT. Um, banana, very simply like that. You could use it at porch as well. Say you have a teammate spotting from Pope. You sit here with a Molotov. He says they're coming up. They start flashing you. Boom, you Molotov it. They cannot come through this Molotov without doing serious damage to themselves. And many, many teams won't. 90% of them won't. Only the idiots will. Okay, they're forcing it at that point. They're going to lose the round as long as you play it decently. Okay, that again is the simplest, easiest way to use them. The next is using them for pace and to control the pace of the round. So, for instance, if you're playing against a team that really, really, really likes to go fast, you know, they like to go up, they like to rush, they like to get in your face at the start of the round. You simply wait for it, wait for it. When you think they're going to execute, you Molotov middle and they cannot do it. And you're forcing them to play slow. You're forcing them to play when you're completely set up and you're ready and you and your teammates are ready and you're, you're taking them out of their comfort zone. So you could really control the pace of a round like that, okay? Um, so you're kind of using it similar to how you use a smoke grenade. Um, you know, we use smoke grenades like that as well, where we'll just smoke like this. And it'll kind of make people weary of walking up through the smoke because they don't know. We could just be right here waiting for them. So it makes them waste flashes, it makes them waste inventory, and most importantly, it makes them waste their time, all right? And you control the pace of the round, okay? So that's one of the ways you could use it as CT, or two of the ways, rather. Now, let me go through a couple more maps and show you guys some other ways that you could. All right, guys, Molotovs on Dust 2. What do people do on Dust 2? They freaking rush B and they freaking rush along. So what do you do? You pre-molly and they can't do shit. They, that takes away two strats that so many T's use and so many teams use on Dust 2. Everybody likes to go out long quick on Dust 2. Everybody likes to go B quick on Dust 2. Just Molotov it. Simple as that. They cannot do that. It takes away those avenues of attack. You get set up. You smoke the tunnel. When you have this tunnel smoked and you're right here, they can't do anything, man. All right? Especially if you have an op. They are screwed. So you're just taking away two avenues of attack. You're controlling the pace of the game. It's great, man. As soon as you have money, start mauling long, start mauling B. You come here. They're throwing flashes. You Molotov like that. Maybe one guy will get out and he's isolated from the rest of the team. In my opinion, that's a good... Mm. Excuse me. In my opinion, that's a good thing if one guy gets isolated out while the others are stuck in the doorways because you threw a perfect Molotov. The other guy's out, you're flashing them, you're pushing them, you're killing them while that Molotov's up, you get the smoke down on the doors, you have long control, you're in a 4v5. You put yourself in a good situation to win the round, all right? So that's another way of using the Molotov, is stopping the rush. So we got three ways to use the Molotov as CT. We got to control the pace of the round, we got to stop the rush, and we got to stop an execution, a late round execution. You could simply do it in A as well. You have one guy spotting catwalk, or, or catwalk from goose, or maybe car. You have another guy with a Molotov out. As soon as they execute, boom, he Molotovs it. They are, they're screwed, they can't execute anymore. They wasted all their flashes and smokes on executing for nothing, because there's a Molotov down. It's, it's a great way to play CT side. Instead of having so in Counter-Strike for just years, you've had one spot or one flasher. So I would spot from car, my psych guy would flash like that, and then he'd peek, right? For years we've done that. Now instead, if we have money, I'm spotting, this guy's molotoving. 
as soon as and, and it just breaks all their flashbangs and smokes that they execute with and you know exactly where they are as well if if I see three of them and then you molly and they have to run back we know there's three guys on catwalk we know where they are that is huge all right so those are a couple of examples of how to use CT Molotovs on Inferno and Dust 2. Now, let's get to T-Side. All right, T-Side. What could you do with Molotovs T-Side? Well, here's one. You go long A, you throw a pre-Molotov. That's going to stop them from getting a pit. And if they go to pit, they're going to take a lot of damage. All right? Yeah, they can kind of run through it a little bit. You know, they might not take that much damage. You know, what, I took 20 damage there. But I had to jump. I got slowed down, and it helps tremendously. All right? It's, it's a huge boost to, to have any type of fast take on long A, for instance. All right, now let's get to the bulk of it. How, where do you want to use Molotovs? What do you want to use them for? Okay, when you're actually taking a site, the, like when you're actually executing, you're in a 5v5 situation, and you want to take A on dust 2, right? What do you do? Well, if you have good money, you Molotov spots that you have trouble clearing out. So my team, we have trouble clearing sight at A, all right? That is tough for us. Sight at A, our flashes go past the guy. A lot of the time we don't have nades to just nade the guy. The guy barely gets blind because he's just looking like this. So it's just a really tough spot to clear out. So we throw a Molotov on him, all right? Um, I have a really good Molotov. I'm not gonna show it in this video, but you can go to the premium section and see it. That's gonna land on A sight perfectly and you don't have to peek. But if you Molotov this guy, whoops, that was the worst Molotov ever. But if you Molotov this guy like that, you don't have to worry about A-Sight. He cannot be in A-Sight at all. I just killed myself. But anyways, that guy A-Sight has to either go to boost, he has to jump to spawn, or he has to go to rail. You do not have to clear A-Sight anymore. It's a huge win, all right? So when you take sights, you don't have to worry about spots because you could just molly it off and, not ha and, and you know the guy can't be there, all right? So I'm gonna give a couple more examples on Inferno. All right, so when you go and you're taking the big site, right? And there could be a guy in pit. What is the hottest, not the hottest. <laughs> I guess it would become the hottest spot after you throw them all the time because there's fire all over the place. But what's the hardest spot to, to kill a guy when he's at like set up, right? In my opinion, it's Pope. If there's a guy back there at Pope, he is really hard to kill. So what do we do? We just Molotov it, and we know he can't be there. So that's what we use that for, all right? We know he, nobody could be Pope. It's it's a huge help, and it's gonna improve your chances at, at winning the round for sure. Next spot is, we can Molly Spindles from Banana. We know a guy's not Spindle. That's a huge help. We don't have to put our crosshairs over here. All we have to do is put our crosshairs over here and over here. We never have to worry about that. That's amazing. That gives you such good strategy of winning the round. Um, and, and that's how you properly use Molotovs as T. So now you know how to properly use Molotovs as CT and T. Figure out some other good ways to use it. You know, if you guys have any questions, simply ask away. All right. Peace out, guys. It's been Days of NetCodeSource.com.